Morgan Wade is still processing her body after double mastectomy, but knows it was so worth it, exclusive. The country singer opens up to people about her preventative surgery, which she was able to undergo with the help of the nonprofit mission Plasticos. It's been just over three weeks since country singer Morgan Wade underwent a preventative double mastectomy. I'm finally able to put a hoodie on, she tells people. That's nice because it was button-up shirts and anything that could zip for a minute. Wade, 29, has also had to deal with forced downtime post-surgery, which she admits hasn't been easy for someone so active and physically fit. But she knows it's worth it. Having the procedure means she can live the rest of her life knowing she has no risk of breast cancer, which runs in her family. The psychopath singer says she lost both her grandmother and great-aunt to pancreatic cancer and had an aunt who was diagnosed with breast cancer at age 30. After a cousin tested positive for the RAD51D gene mutation, which puts carriers at a 20-40% to 40 lifetime risk of breast cancer, according to the Facing Our Risk of Cancer Empowered Advocacy Group, Wade's mom Robin encouraged the star to go for the test. Wade tested positive, and soon after she decided to move forward with the removal of her breasts. On November 18th, she underwent the four-hour surgery, which included not only the double mastectomy, but reconstructive surgery as well. I would rather have done all this and never know if I was going to get breast cancer or not, she says. I would have rather done this and have that peace of mind. Life is short, life is precious, and I'm grateful for the advances with science that we have the knowledge to be able to go and take care of these things. Morgan Wade reflects on rock-bottom moment that led to getting sober, didn't think I was going to make it, exclusive. Though Wade says she knew exactly what she was getting herself into, she started getting more nervous as the surgery date approached. I didn't really process it. But the night before, I started to get kind of anxious about it, and I was like, I don't know that I want to do this, she recalls. I knew I needed to do it, but there's always that little bit of fear in the back of your mind. The singer says she leaned on her mom, who had previously undergone the same surgery, to help ease her anxieties. She also woke up at 3 a.m. to squeeze in a cup of black coffee and 